Okay, so we're going to do a reshoot of the slide disassembly. And I may even try to get it put back together quickly so you can see what that looks like. And basically, you have to understand, because it's all black on black, even with extra light, I have tons of light on this. You have to be blowing it up, and then you'll see the better details on the inside. So I'll go ahead and do that, and even make an effort, if time allows, to put it back together quickly. Okay, so again, why would you take this apart? I mean, a lot of people are going to get frustrated. Potentially, there's always a risk of you not getting it put back together if you take it apart. You only should be taking this apart if the piston, the seal in there is worn down. You're just taking it apart for parts because there are parts you want to save just in case. And or you have a serious jam in your barrel. Um, you picked up a BB off the ground. It doesn't, obviously that's a bad idea. Jammed metal on metal in your barrel. And you've tried to come in from here to see if it's loose, to see if it's a loose jam. And it's not, it's stiff in there. Okay, you don't want to hammer into your gun like that. There is a seal back here and you could do damage to it and that would basically ruin your gun. So if, on the other hand, if you stick a rod in there and what you do is you push forward on that feeder which is connected to your barrel assembly and then you see, now if it's a loose jam and it's in the breech, let's say, that does work. See, so let me see if you can see it in there. There we go. See, you can see that red in there. There we go. And if it's a loose jam, look how I'm doing that. I'm not even using the clamps or anything special. There you go, you can see that. If it's a loose jam, it's in the breech. And many times, if it will poke out that side, you won't damage your seal. So you can do that, and you don't need to do what? You don't need to take this apart to repair it. Okay, but okay, so let's say we're not that lucky. You picked a BB up off the ground. It's jammed metal to metal in your barrel, so we got to treat it like the Red Rider and take it all apart. Uh, different protocols, of course. Okay, so first of all, we got to take care of the spring. All right, this is where it gets dangerous, bigger, more dangerous guns, but this isn't a dangerous gun like that. So we need to decompress it. This is your spring stop. So let's go ahead and deal with that. So we get a straight pick like that. We get through the hole there that uses, that hole there is for your sear assembly for a spike that goes through there, hold it in place. So we carefully, now remember, so now with this improved light, I want you to look at the edges here. There's edges here, it's thin plastic and you don't yank. You could break those or, or permanently warp this. And this is why Daisy doesn't really want you working on it. That's why I bought two. And then this one that you see here will be my replacement when the other one wears out. But let's go ahead and get in here and show you how this is done. So we're going to decompress that spring. So we go through that hole. Gently, gently come out just enough so that it pops out gently. It should just pop out gently. There you go. There you go. Okay. Everything's okay. The plastic's okay. That's your spring stop. There is your spring. So I'm going to stand up. It takes a little bit. And then we just get that out of there. We need to get that out. So you just twist it. There we go. And there we go. And take your time. Don't Again, don't get impatient and pull on the spring. Just kind of twist it out. So the spring's intact. Your plastic is intact. Everything looks good. So now we get the butter knife. And I'm going to be a little bit cleaner on this video. I'm going to give you this close-up. So you can see the edges of that. The top edge where the gap is. Top edge where the gap is where we want to get into. So let me back out just a little bit. So as I showed you what that was okay so we get in there put it down on the ground get in there there we go we run down but first oh now first of all what we do want to do here is clamp down on okay so we we got rid of the spring out of there that's good but the first thing we do we do want your return spring on your slider and the barrel the barrel assembly your feeder out of the way so we'll want to go ahead and get up on here, I have my jaw lockers ready, ready to go. You don't want to mar that plastic. So there we go. All right, I'm going to push it forward just a little bit more. There we go. And so you see what that looks like. See, so that is some, we call that the plunger. Depends how you want to use handgun talk, the plunger, or I just call it the loader. Loads BBs into your feeder. So that's clear. So now this is clear. All right, so now we get going with your butter knife. So I'm just gonna back off here so you don't, you have plenty of light, there we go. That's a, that's a good, now. all right. So we come in from the top corner, we push down on that gap and I get in there like lock pick and I get in there and I run it down and there we go. And then we use a hook 
and we grab it by the, the transport hole. There we go. And that comes out. And then we can release that clamp. This whole system comes out. Okay. And again, if you were having to clear a jam in the barrel, you're likely going to have to hammer it out. Well, you will have to hammer it out. Because if it didn't come easily, if it wasn't loose jammer in back of the breech, there's a seal in there. If it wasn't in back of the breech, you could easily push it out with a rod like I showed. Meaning that you weren't able to do it like this. And it just came out the other side. And, it, and it's resisting you. Then you're going to have to do what you just did. And you get a rod. This may or may not be long enough, depending on where the jam is. And then you get a longer rod if need be. And you take your take a rod and your ball peen hammer. So let's go ahead and back out all the way. And you just tap, 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 tap until the beat comes out. And then once you've done that, and then you put it back together. So I'm going to just show you because obviously I'm very confident with this. I'm not going to quite go slow-mo with this. So then we put your barrel assembly and all that back in. All right. And we restore the clamp. All right. I'm going to show you how fast I can actually move and do this. If you think this is fast, geez, I, I can tell you. I, <laughs> just for a demo, my gunsmith did it with a red rider, how fast they can move on that. And that's something else to witness right there. If someone's really used to, to working on air guns, how fast they can move with these things. Okay, so again, so we're going to reestablish the clamp, use a towel, and a... There we go. Okay. And then we got to get this back in here. All right. So remember, there's a piston in there. I didn't bother to take it out for this because I have the original chute. And this is just, you don't need to even bother. If you were clearing a jam in your barrel, you don't need to take this out. I mean, we can do it real quick just so you can see what it looks like. But so then, there you go. And it is a rubber top. I would use only silicone mm -hmm. on that. There is a catch for your sear catch. And make sure that goes in this slot. I do need to point that out. So again, you do want to make sure that goes in the slot, that the part that catches on your sear goes in the slot, or you could run, cause a lot of problems. You, yes, we're gonna run it basically, so there we go. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in here. Now the trick of reestablishing this is you use your feeder to line up with your loader or you'll never get this back together. That's a common mistake that people give up on this. Okay, so the trick here when we're putting back in your spring stop is, all right, not to snap it back in. We can't snap it back in, folks. Cannot do that. So, all right. So there we go. So that's a nice picture of it. So I have it in there, but not snapped back in there. There, there we go. It's just loosely there. Then we put your spring stop back on there. And we get it in there. Don't snap it back in. Try to make sure you don't do that. So we're going to go ahead and... This is the part where you will have to struggle on the reassembly. I do have a video just for that. Okay, there we go. And then go ahead and use our buddy here to get this guy lined up. There we go. Okay, now that's good enough. Okay, so now what we're going to do is release the clamp and allow your feeder to, to go over the top of your loader and center it. Or you'll never get this thing back together. Okay, so now I'm going to release that clamp. And we push down on it. There we go. You heard that big, loud snap? You better believe it. There we go. And unfortunately, our spring stock came out of position a little bit during that exercise. Not a big deal. There we go. And make sure that that thing is centered before you put it back in your gun. On your operational um, 340, that goes on a spike and needs to be centered roughly. Okay. Okay. And I'll say I made that look pretty easy. I did that all in. And now we're going to... It's not quite centered. We're not done yet. If you look at that, it's not quite centered. So... There we go. Here's another secondary snap. Okay, now it's centered. Look at that. Beautiful. I'm leaving it. It's still... Okay, and we're all done. We're all put back together. And I kind of showed off there, showing how fast I can do it. But let's do a double check. Okay, let's blow it up. It's all lined up. The feeder right here is going over the loader. And we use the feeder as a marriage with the loader to center it. It was a little off at first, and then I wiggled it and snapped. I got two snaps, loud snaps. And there you go. You see that, that that's correct. Make sure you do that correctly. You center it, and then usually you have to wiggle it around and do a secondary snap to snap in the guard rails right here, or the, or the I would say, locking rails. Okay, that's it.